Hi everyone, let's make some mam lahong today, Cambodian fermented papaya and shrimp. For this recipe, I used one and a half pounds of raw shrimp, peeled and deveined it. Two to three tablespoons of roasted galanga, which I smashed with a mortar and pesto. One tablespoon of sea salt or table salt, or for this recipe, I used pink Himalayan salt. Two tablespoons of roasted rice powder. And here again, the two tablespoons of roasted galanga. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly and pressing them into the shrimp. With a clean stir jar, which I clean and sterilize with hot boiling water, pack the shrimp tightly, pushing them down as you move up. Next, seal the jar with plastic wrap or saran wrap to prevent erosion on the cap. Then let it ferment in the sun for about 3-4 to four days. The shrimp is completely fermented and ready once it turns completely orange. Remove the plastic wrap and it's now ready for the next process to make your mam lahong. For the next process for actually making the mam lahong, you need some fresh green papaya. For this one, I use about one and a half regular size papaya. And honestly, I don't have the exact measurement of the volume, but it's one and a half and I slice it about um, a quarter, an eighth thickness of an inch and about two inches long. Um, I also added some carrots, some shredded and different size of carrot. I rinsed them with some, the papaya and carrot has been already washed and rinsed with some cold water and salt. And this has already been dried overnight. And you do want them dry and not having too much excess of water because there's already a lot of moisture inside the meat itself. Next, I melted some palm sugar. I'm not going to use all this palm sugar here. I'm actually going to use just about one and a half or two tablespoons of palm sugar. I don't like my papaya, fermented papaya sweet. Um, if you do like it sweet, you can add as much sweetness as you want. Next is the roasted galanga. Again, just like the first process, roast it and smash it with a molten pesto. You can also use a blender or mixer. I'm a little bit old school, so I went with the molten pesto. I also added some sliced ginger, fresh ginger. This is optional. I do like a little bit of ginger in my papaya. Here at the galanga, so about I use about two tablespoons of it. Next, um, I added two tablespoons of roasted rice powder. Next, I add one teaspoon of pink Himalaya salt. Now you want to mix all the ingredients together. Then I ended up adding another half a teaspoon of Himalaya salt and a half a teaspoon of MSG Bijain. It's completely optional. Now just mix it well. Um, I like to use my hand because I get to um, press and squeeze the ingredients into the papaya. Now we can add the fermented shrimp we did earlier. The shrimp is a little bit on the salty side, but it's gonna infuse the salt from the shrimp and into the papaya. A good balance of salt will help with the fermentation and make the papaya sour. You wanna give it a really good mix, a thorough mix between the shrimp and papaya. And last, I also throw in some hot chili peppers. This is completely optional. Make sure the jar is clean and sterile. I sterilize this jar with hot boiling water and let it dry. So there's no liquid inside at all when I add the papaya and shrimp. As you are packing it, make sure to press down and squeeze as much air as possible out from between the papaya and shrimp. Pouring the liquid from the mix can actually help the process of moving any air bubbles and push the air from the bottom upward as you are packing them. Repeat the pack and press until all the papaya and shrimp are fully packed into the jar. Seal the jar with some plastic wrap or saran wrap and put the lid on and let it ferment about another three to four days away from the sun. After three or four days of fermentation, the papaya should be sour. Um, store it in the fridge, it lasts for 
weeks or even months um, the older it gets the more sour the papaya will get and yes the papaya should be crunchy and crispy if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up press that like button share and comment down below and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you for watching until next time stay safe and healthy bye bye